Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is Friday the 12th of spring here one. Yeah, we're still in spring. <laughs> it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Ready for the egg festival. I forgot that was now. Spirits are very happy. Let's quickly check the calendar. I'm pretty sure Haley's birthday is the day after. Yeah. So we'll have to make sure that we get something good for her. Now, I believe last year we actually won the egg festival and that's where we got our little hat from. So we'll have to... Oh, no, pick it up. To try our best to win this year. I think if we win again this year, um, I think we just get, like, money. Money, I believe, we get for winning. So we'll see about that. Got a letter? Dear Sam, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to attend. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Hop on over and say hello to all of our lovely animals. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really, really well. I'm having a really good day. Um, I actually just got back from school. Um, so they, they asked some parents if they wanted to come in and do a maths thing. Like do some maths with the kids and stuff. So I thought that would be pretty fun. Get to know some of the other parents and stuff. Um, so I was in doing that this morning and it was just the parents this time, learning what we were going to be doing and uh, it looks like it's going to be um, a really fun thing to do so I'm really excited about that. Uh, eggs thrown here aren't they? Two little eggs for us today. There we go. No we don't eat the egg. Oh that's why it wouldn't go in there. Uh, bucket. There we go. I'm going to see our little duckies. No chicken. Hello. Hello. I can see you hiding in the grass. Oh no, that's a fence post. Not a chicken. <laughs> Have I got them all? Yeah, I think so. If I missed any, it's their own fault. <laughs> and just one void egg. Oh, are they not too happy with me today? Okay, so uh, we want to get rid of that and that. Okay, there's our apricot. We've got some bits and bobs going on here, so we need some more fruit for this. I think I can put an apricot in there, can't I? Put cheese in it? No, no I can't. Okay. Uh, any of this ready? Yes. The kale is ready. And if I remember rightly, the kale's pretty good because you get quite a lot of money for kale, so. Let's go and pop this up here. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Uh, keep some of the kale just because you never know when you're going to need it. Parsnips, jazz. I think we're gonna have to grab some more seeds from Pierre. In there. I think because these guys have quite a large area, I think if I left the gate open, they probably wouldn't leave anyway. There we go. And then four. Oh, look at that perfect amount. We'll just quickly water these. Oop. There we go. Awesome. So that's all that sorted. Like I said before, we are wanting to finish the um, the fish bundle as soon as possible because we really want. Um, we really want to open the, um, come on Jose, we really want to open the bus to the desert and to do that we need to do the fish tank bundle thing and um, the problem with that is all the fish that we need are either we get them in like fall and summer or we get them in spring but when it's raining so 
definitely need to keep an eye out for that. Someone who catches four carp. Can't remember where we get carp from. I'll leave that. Uh, okay, cauliflower, we can get some of those. We'll get nine. Takes six days, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, I'll get nine of those. Kale. 18 of those and then like 40 parsnips because they only take one they only take four days so might as well sort those out right then let's head on down hello Haley. so we need to make sure that we think of something that we can give Haley for her birthday that's an easy way of getting some hearts there's anything happening over on the beach today apart from seagulls having a paddle mm -hmm. a little bit of coral I'm actually going to keep this if it's not starred and I've just seen one that it at uh, the both starred so that's a bit annoying I should have kept it earlier on when it wasn't starred um because I'm pretty sure there's a recipe that we can do to make something that uses I think it's one of the um fertilizers though actually that we can use coral for so that's exciting okay oh oh they're having a pic i love that it shows our crab pots here because <laughs> they're actually there oh sam it's perfect timing that you showed up is it i brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside you know all about life in the country right well yeah i live on a farm so i was thinking could you be my guest speaker today i'd love to Sure or no, I can't stand kids. <laughs> oh, I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Charles, Vincent, can I have your attention, please? Oh, she's so good with them. She'd be so good with our babies. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Sam. She has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so she knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Oh, look at them putting their little hands up. Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Oh, you clever girl. Very good. That's worth two star points. Oh, they have star points. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. Yay! Okay, now let's give Sam our full attention. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got. I've got cows and um and chickens. Uh they like being petted. <laughs> uh country life is all about farming or country life is all about gathering from the wild. We do a lot of gathering from the wild, but for us at the moment it's all about farming. The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables, or the valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. Both very true, but we'll go down the vegetable route, I think. Oh Vincent has a question. Yes, Vincent. Um, Farmer Sam, if I eat your veggies, will I grow up to be big, uh, grow up to be strong like my big brother, Sam? He's so strong. I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. Excuse me. Vincent, it's not good to gossip. So, so my love rival is Sam, is it? Two Sams fighting over the same fair maiden. What is this? Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Oh, they're so cute. Well, it's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. I'm sure you will, Penny, as long as you leave Sam alone away. Would you ever want to be a parent, Sam? I haven't really thought about it. Absolutely, I want a big family. I guess so, it's a natural urge. No, I don't think I'd be good at it. No, the world's cried enough already. No, I don't want to be tied down with a family. Absolutely, I want a giant family. Me too, I'm glad you feel that way. Yes, so ignore the other Sam and come with this Sam. <laughs> That's so funny. What a cute little cutscene. Oh my goodness, that was adorable. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Sam. I think the kids had a great time. That's because they were with you, perfect Penny. Oh, okay, apparently that makes me come off my horse. 
That's her new name now. She's not Senpai. She's Perfect Penny. Practically perfect in every way. Oh, I love that woman. <laughs> but now I need to stop being nice to the other Sam. He's trying to get in on my girl. He's getting in on my turf and I don't like that. Hmm. I'll have to think of a way to woo her. Although she is our girlfriend. Um, we did give her the bouquet. So, I don't know what else there is we can do. You're welcome. While we're over here, I thought we might as well pop in here and just give him that. Okie pokey. Let's ride him. Oh, the lady's here with the, uh, with the weird stuff. Hello. Okay, tulip, she's puffer fish. Sand fish. What do we need for that other bundle? Puffer fish. We need the sand fish. Yes. Thank you. The Kite Master 95. That's pretty cool. And we'll take a rare seed. Awesome. What a productive day. And I think the rare seeds we plant them in fall, but once we get the um the greenhouse we can plant them all the time. Oh. We have a little tulip. Okay, so let's pop these away. We might as well put the seeds away because um a lot of the stuff that we've got is gonna start um summer or fall spring fall summer okay uh we'll pop all of those in there then uh we want to sell that and that where's the rare seeds i thought i had more than just the one maybe i don't okay uh pop those in there we need to grab something not the grapes. We'll put corn in the in the thingy ma thingy ma jigs. Uh, we've got this pretty cool painting. I like this. Oh no! Walk around. There we go. I like that. Okay, and we want to grab these. So we'll sell this. <laughs> Let's head down to the shed. Sort what's left in there out. And then we will head to the community centre and finish that bundle. Okay, uh, they're all fine. And then I've got these for the recyclers. I do have more stuff I know but forget to bring it. I need a chest in here with all the vegetables and stuff in. Uh, but I need to try and get more wood first. And we can't get that until we get our axe back from Clint. So we may have to wait for that. And I don't think we're going to get there in time, even if we took the little, the little minecart. So there's not much point in us trying to get there. We can, however, head on up here and finish this bundle, which is very, very exciting. Do, do, do. Yay! Bundle complete! Ooh! Five dish of the sea. This will keep you warm in the cold sea air. Plus three fishing, plus 60 health, and plus 150 energy. That's a really good... A really good uh, prize. Awesome. You still want that? Okay, we we need to get our axe soon because that um the fiddlehead fern we find in the little um, secret garden area. However, we might be able to find that. 
now because we can still get in it without the axe because we've already been in there so maybe we'll head in there now just quickly and see if we can find it let's see if there's one there we might as well and then I think we still oh why did I get off oh no we did the Mackie rolls okay so we just need a truffle and a poppy okay that's fine I don't think we can grow poppies in this season. This season is tulips and jazz. So we are going to have to wait to grab a poppy, but that's okay. Okie pokey. Hello, lady. Oh, no, you're going to have to go around because I don't have an axe. Stay there, Grover. Don't go anywhere, please. A lot of horse radish, horse radishes in here, and a mushroom. Hmm. Worried if there is a fiddlehead fern that I wouldn't notice it because it'd be the same colour as the grass, but I'm sure I would. Nothing. I'm not too sure if there's a particular season or anything that they actually like come out around here. I'm not too sure. I just thought we'd check. Let's have a quick. Let's have a quick fish. We might as well. We've got lots of energy left. I might actually go down to the big lake and go and fish there. Not to catch anything in particular. It's just that you know it's extra money all the time for us. A carp? Ooh! We needed four of those for the... Uh... Oh, it suddenly got really bright in here. <laughs> we needed four of those for the um, notice board um, task. So if we can get four of those now, that'd be really cool. Although I don't think this is a carp. Yay! Ooh, a wood skip. Oh, no. Pretty sure we've needed that for one of the um, bundles, but we probably have already got it. But we can definitely double check. Do, 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 do. I love the music. Oh, a can of Jojo Cola. No! No! Come on, lady. I love the purple fishing rod, though. So cool. We will need to go mining at some point because um, we really need a pris prismatic shard um, for when we do go to the desert and it's like a rainbow coloured thing. No. And I'm not too sure where you get them from. I'm assuming it's mining but it might not be. Might be opening geodes. Possibly. Right come on we need two more carp. Oh no, don't lose it. It's right at the bottom. <laughs> so used to things flying off. It's another carp. One more and we've got some moolah. Although I'm not too sure how much carp sell for. So I think I'm going to grab a couple extra. We've got plenty of energy so it's not a problem. Up until now I think every time somebody's asked for something they've always paid more than what we would get if we just sold it so but it'll be interesting to see if I sell one like how much we'd get and that's another carp awesome I wouldn't be surprised if we go for fishing level soon too because we're getting a lot of perfects because these carp are so bleh. and if we had that um if we had that bobber on that followed the fish you know and it was really good on the slow fish I wouldn't even have to do anything because if they did move it it'd just follow them <laughs> I should have put that on that would have been amazing that would have definitely been kind of like mindless fishing that's funny go now in the summer one thing that we do really need to do is um we really need to grow a lot of melons because they're one of penny's favorites 
and I think we've run out because I'm just thinking obviously we need to get her to 10 hearts so that she'll marry us um, I'm just thinking how we're going to do that because I don't think I have any melons there's other stuff that she likes obviously but let's have a look what did we get? 10 bait that's absolutely fine a rare artifact would have been nicer, but that's okay. And another wood skip, right? Let's head on back. Do, 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 do. We will head into town. I'm pretty sure those things stay on the notice board for maybe a couple of days, I think. I want to say that, but I'd rather go and get it now just in case. We've got a bit of time. It's only half ten. And we have a horse, so we're faster, so it's all good. Come on, horsey. go 120 gold that doesn't give me much hope as to how much we're going to get per each carp though if we get 120 gold for four which makes them like 30 gold each that he's buying them from us i'm assuming he's Oh, gosh darn it. I've seen those ones before and I never even thought about it. So, basically, you pick that up and then you have to go and catch them and it counts them as you catch them. But that's fine, because then at least we know where they are. Uh, shad, catfish, eel... Okay, so I don't think we need any of them. And they're all starred, so we will sell them all. Just quickly grab this mayonnaise. And then we will head off to bed and see how much we've made. Just need to put these... Um, those away. There we go, sleep for the night. <gasps> yeah, see I, I knew we were about ready for a level up. Level 7 fishing, plus 1 fishing rub proficiency, new crafting recipe cork bobber, new crafting recipe treasure hunter. So I think this one helps you pick up the treasure boxes which to be honest it seems, I've said this before that I think the rate that they are coming in is a lot faster than it used to be. Uh, and we have made 6,479 gold today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please like, comment and subscribe to become a sparkle. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!